Hello, my lovelies. Today, since it's the first day of fall, I thought I would get a few videos in um, while I'm resting after making all of this food and dishwashing and all of those things. So I want to do a little book review today. And before I do the review, I want to do a little disclaimer and let you know that any review I do, uh, these books were purchased either by myself, I purchased them, or they were given to me by friends or family. Um, I have no connection to any of the authors of the books. Um, nothing was free to me, and these are all honest um, opinions of, um, about these books. So the book I want to review today is called The Witch's Cauldron. Let's see if you can see that. It's The Witch's Cauldron. Um, let me put on my old lady glasses so I can tell you the rest of it. Uh, the Witch's Cauldron, The Craft, The Lore, and Magic of Ritual Vessels. Laura Tempest Vakroff, I believe is her name. So, again, this is the book, and it was about $10, I think, on Amazon. Um, it was purchased for me as a gift from one of my friends, and we were reading this book together to do a little book club thing and discuss the book together. So... Um, I will start out saying it's a pretty fantastic book. Um, you have to kind of, it, it makes you think outside the box of what a cauldron is. This book is all about cauldrons. All about cauldrons, some spells, um, things that you can do um, with your cauldron, how to bless the cauldron, how to pick out the cauldron, and the different metals, um, different materials that a cauldron could be made out of. Uh, let's see, what else does it say? Um, it gives the history, uh, the basic uses of them, how, let's see, how to choose your cauldron, and there's a section on there about the gods and goddesses and folklore um, back in the history. Um, I think I already said how to cleanse the cauldron. One thing that it does give in here, which I really liked, there were several spells. Lots of spells, different kind of uh, things that you could do. There's bath salts that you could make. She gives recipes on those, which were fantastic. Let me tell you, she got, also gave two food recipes that were absolutely fantastic. I can tell you for sure because I made the apple cake. Uh, the apple cake was her mother's recipe. And the recipe that she gives, you do it in a Dutch oven, which is also a cauldron. And um, if you don't happen to have a Dutch oven, and you have the book, and you have the recipe, which is worth the $10 for the book to get this recipe, let me just tell you. If you don't happen to have a, a Dutch oven, you could just use a 9 by 13 pan, and it works out fantastic. Marvelous. Full of apples. This recipe calls for four cups of apples. I did the Granny Smith apples when I did mine. Um, fall on the floor, fantastic cake. Moist, you'll love it. Best part. Um, I didn't do the cornbread yet, but I will uh, during the fall. And we'll check out that recipe as well. And I'll come back and probably tell you how that one worked out. Uh, one, let's see, she, does, she tells you about the different colors. She tells you what different herbs mean. There's some definitions in here um, in divination and things like that so if you weren't familiar you would know what she was talking about by reading those sections. One thing that I really liked <clears throat> in the end part of the book she did a part where it's thinking outside the box of what a cauldron is. And it's way outside the box but really not. Did you know your bathtub is a cauldron? Your bathtub it's where you cleanse. You can put herbs in there. You can put salts in there. And you can do your rituals in the bathtub. Your bathtub is a cauldron, just so you know. Your washing machine is also a cauldron. Uh, you can get those muslin tea bags and put herbs and salts in there. Uh, you can do your rituals with that. But when you, your clothes are actually a layer of protection, a protection for you. So when you infuse your clothes, with herbs uh, for protection or for whatever spell you want to do on them with the herbs and salts and things like that. When you wash your clothes with it, there you have another layer before you go out into this crazy world. So that was a different kind of cauldron. 
Um, I want to show you two other cauldrons that you have in your house that you don't realize are a cauldron. It's not the typical cauldron, but let me just show you. You see the bowl? Wooden spoon? Spell making? Cauldron. There you got a cauldron right there. It didn't cost you nothing. You got a wooden spoon in your house? Crock kind of bowl? Let me tell you, this bowl right here, I make potato salad in that bowl. <clears throat> and everybody in the family loves this potato salad that I make. They call it the famous potato salad. They say, hey, are you going to make your famous potato salad when we have the picnics or the parties or whatever? Make your famous potato salad. And so I've told everyone, it's so simple. It's only a few ingredients. This is all you have to do. And they always say, but it doesn't taste the same. Well, they just didn't know the reason that they can make it the same way, but it will never taste the same because when I make my potato salad in that crock or cauldron, I put my intentions into it. I put love into it, um, it for jo enjoyment for anyone who eats that. Uh, you have to be able to put that. If you're making your potato salad or your cookies or whatever it is in that bowl or your bowl, if you're mad when you do it, that's what's going into your bowl. If you're spiteful when you do it, you don't really want to cook, that's what's going into your bowl. will never taste the same because my potato salad is made with love when I make it. So, that's one tip for you. Um, something like this is also a cauldron. My mom gave this to me for my birthday. I had no idea she gave me a cauldron. This is the second cauldron she gave me. Um, but, it's got a lid. Crop type vessel, a vessel to make potions in, a vessel, uh, vessel to make different oils, um, uh, different herb blends, things like that. There you go. Got another cauldron. So look around your house. See what you have. Uh, you have cauldrons everywhere. You just don't know it. And after reading this book, what did I do with it? This book, The Witch's Cauldron, I learned a few things myself. Uh, so, I think it's worth the $10 or $12, whatever it winds up to be. This we got off Amazon. My friend got it off Amazon for me, and we enjoyed it a lot. There is one other place in here that I really, really love. She talked about um, doing some spells <clears throat> down on the water. And y'all know, I don't know if y'all know, but if you don't know, I love the lake, I love the ocean, the Gulf. We live down here in Texas, off the Gulf of Mexico. We go down to Gilcrest, Crystal Beach, if you know any of that. Uh, we live up here off of Lake Palestine. So there's water always around us, uh, wherever we live. But there was actually a spell on here um, where you kind of do like a Viking ritual. Um, there's also one in here where you take your cauldron out and you where the fire and the water meet together, uh, how powerful that is. So uh, those are things that you really want to see in this book. Again, I recommend it. Um, just a pretty fantastic book. You wouldn't think so when that's all you get the book and you say, oh, that's all they're going to talk about is cauldrons. It's a think outside the box book. Check it out. Um, hope you have a great day, and I'll get back to you with another video. This I'll probably kick off three videos on here today, so you'll see me in the same shirt. It's a messy hair kind of day, and I don't care. I've uh, been doing a lot of cooking and doing some cleaning today. Uh, get ready to do a bonfire tonight for uh, the witches' Thanksgiving. And so I hope that you are taking this time to do something creative today, something fun with your family if you're by yourself that you do some creative crafts or go out on a nature walk. Uh, anything to welcome in the fall and remember how blessed you are. If you're breathing today, you are blessed. Blessed be.